everybody. Welcome back for another great video. Uh, this time I want to talk about cable armoring, okay? So we basically have two real basic designs. The first one that you used to see uh, primarily, well, well, the only one that existed, was uh, this type of cable here. This is a gel-filled uh, outside plant, uh, what I like to call loose tube cable. Uh, this is an armor, it's called corrugated steel tape. And what they're doing is they're taking steel tape and wrapping it around the cable. Again, very uh, rigid type stuff, not expected to be bent a lot, you know, slight bends. Um, not a very tight bend radius on this cable. Really designed, the original intent for armoring a cable was uh, protect against rodents from chewing through it. They love to chew through all this stuff. So again, a, a great use for an outdoor cable. You can see it's black. That's your UV resistant outer jacket. So we can run this aerial or we can bury it. Important thing to remember on anything you bury, try to find out what your local frost line are, lines are. Again, those of you in Florida and uh, Nevada, they're not gonna have to bother with this, but those of us in cold weather areas, we wanna make sure when we bury a fiber that it's gonna be below the frost line so we don't get any heaving. Uh, we don't want our cables to be in a heave area where we bend and rocks tend to travel through cable when it freezes and thaws. So, you know, a good rule of thumb is to uh, bury below your frost line. I know here where I live, it's uh, three feet or deeper. Certain areas are two feet, 18 inches. So, you know, know your local frost line. Uh, the other cable that I'm showing here, this is the other type. This is the cable that we make. Uh, this is called aluminum interlocking armor. Um, it's much more flexible, as you can tell. This is a large 96 count fiber. Uh, aluminum interlocking is not rodent proof. It is rodent resistant, but unlike the uh, corrugated steel, it's not rodent proof. Where do we tend to see this? We see this more indoors. We do make it in outdoor cables, but a lot of us installers, if you've ever installed a cable, right, what do we do? We, we install uh, a conduit, right, or an interduct, and we pull our fiber through. What some of the installers will do now is, is to skip that step, and basically we have a fiber located inside of this armoring, so the armoring is like your inner tube or your inner duct um, or conduit. So you're, you're really eliminating a single step, and then we can tack this up or do what we need to put it in cable trays. So you know those are your two different types of uh, armoring. Again, as I had stated in a couple previous videos, always important if it's armored, remember you're gonna have your OF, C R and O F C P and that C meaning conductive meaning we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna need to bond or ground this cable um, to the rack. So again, thanks for listening and we'll do another video soon. Thanks.